All right, today's the day. All right, Jaybird's $140 install. The $140 I've owed is about to be paid back. Hopefully today. I got a couple little things I got to do to the car to finish it up in order to hand it over to him, have it ready to go. But there's one essential thing that I really wanted to do. After staring at this thing for as long as I have, a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I really want it to look good before he gets it. We're not talking about soap. I'm not so sure this thing has seen soap in a long time. No offense, my boy Jaybird, but we're gonna fix that thing up today. I mean, maybe it's just because the weather's been bad. I don't know. It's just a little bit of dirt. Not so sure there's any wax on this paint job at all, but like I said, today is the day. We got my boy Junior from Junior's Detail, Sacramento, California in the house. Came over here early in the morning, like short notice early in the morning, and he's gonna fix this up for me. I had him come over and take a look at this. I wanted him to see if he could do anything for this paint. As you can see right here, this is what we're left with. This is what we're starting with. That's not just dirt. That's uh, as I just scraped my hand across it. This right here is not just dirt. It's kind of oxidized and I don't know, it's old, but we did a little test spot. Believe me, this is not gonna be a full on C quartz paint correction, but it's gonna be a lot nicer when it's done. I mean, look, I can read the logos on the wall there. And I look, <laughs> you can't see. Look at the difference. And it, that's just a quick little, just to see if anything can be done, polish. So, Jay, I know you're going to love your system, but you're going to love what this thing looks like when we're all done, too. Let's get started, Junior. Yeah. Engine bay, too. <laughs> Talk me into doing the engine bay. Yeah. Look at that spot. What a difference it's about to make. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those uh, headlights done up as well. Those things need some help. I cannot wait to give Jaybird his car back. Junior's going to make this thing look good. We got the engine bay getting done. <laughs> Man, this engine bay has probably never seen soap before. It ain't the Jaybird's fault though, he kind of got it like that, but it's all right. We're gonna treat it to some tender love and care, courtesy of Junior's Detail. What a difference. Look at what this shit already looks like. I mean, don't get me wrong, this paint is not in perfect condition, but we're gonna make it as good as we can for the bird. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. It took him quite a while, because that thing was so hazy, you could aim a flashlight on it and you wouldn't even see the reflection or the light. But he's got this thing looking as good as we could possibly make it for what it is, and I think the bird's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Looking brand new, man. Junior's Detail, Sacramento, California. I'm gonna put the number down in the description. You're anywhere in this area. Northern Cali, hit him up. All right, time to get down to business and set these gains. Make that phone call. Let's make a bunch of noise. I'm gonna get rid of those six by nines in the back. That'll let more bass into the cabin. And we'll put some second skin in here. See if we can make that stop. Yeah. 
Look at those damn things. Check these out, okay? Wow. Oh, those are falling apart too, huh? Yeah. Oh, the whole thing. Get in there. Can you see that at all? All up in there. There you go. It's kind of like moving on its own. Like, yeah, I wonder how long that's been routed out. Let's take these bad boys out of here. Straight garbage, worse than the front speakers, but we don't need them. If you're asking me, you're probably asking me, well, what am I gonna put back there? The answer is nothing. All front stage. No, this is not a pure sound quality build. I'm not trying to be anal, but I like all my mids and highs coming from the front only. Save the rear speakers for your home system, in my opinion. Let's put some second scan on this. This bottom here, lining up some. Put these lids back on. Then we'll put some second skin up here. We got Damp Pro, my favorite. This stuff sticks so good, you gotta make sure it's in a good spot before you even think about even touching it on there because it's hard to pull back off again. The base is gonna come through these things, so Fold it over the top. Okay, do the same thing over there. That's much nicer. Let's go ahead and get this thing tuned up. Then we're gonna listen to the trunk lid before we decide how much we're gonna put on it. For all I know, it's just the license plate frame, but I'm ready to get this thing tuned. Put the DD1 plus disc in. Gain's all the way down. Crossovers are all the way up for now. Okay. Turn up to, to get to, towards the max. Keep going. Okay, we're, we're detecting. Right there, distortion. Okay. Back up one. Good. That's 38. That's 39. Okay, so what does the deck go up to? 40. Oh, not not bad. All right, so bust it down to 38. That sounds good. Turn the gain all the way up. I think it's up. We'll hit read. Okay, change tracks, bud, to track three. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start turning this down. I think 10 dB of overlap is pretty good because the amp is matched to the woofers pretty well. So if it's too much, we can always go in and adjust it. So we'll do 10 dB of overlap. 10 dB of overlap with the base knob turned all the way to the top. We got no distortion at all, we're good to go. 
All right, so we'll do the same thing over there on the highs. All right, uh, what I want you to do now is go to track two. Okay. All right. I think we're at 38. Okay, 39. Yep. 40. Yep, we're at 40. Okay, 39. Okay. We're good. 40. 39. Go 40. 39. 40. 39. Now, since the base is set at 38, let's just go ahead and drop that down a notch. We'll go to 38. Now 38? Yep. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go over here and turn this gain all the way up. Gain's all the way up. We're going to hit read. Very important to hit the read button. Now change to track four. Okay. Track four, we're still at volume 38? Yep. All right. So now I'm going to start turning this down. Um, let's do four instead of five because this, this amp is a little big. Normally I would start at five. That's a good starting point. But I'm gonna bust it down just a little bit to four. And the good part about this is we already know that the deck is good where it's sitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move these probes right on over to the other side. I'm busting that down to four so it matches the other side. So we're actually matched and we're gain set at the same time because we can see it on the screen. What do I do, four? Four. Yeah. Bam, four on each side, just like that. Four dB of overlap, 10. It may need to be adjusted a little bit, but the beauty of it is we can see what we're doing on here. It's not just a wild guess. So I think this thing's ready to, we'll set the crossovers and we'll be ready to play it. So we'll bust out the SMD CC1. And we got a CC1 disc over here somewhere, right here. Now it's really important to set the crossovers correctly, especially when you're talking about a four channel amp when you're setting it up like me. I've got the front channels on the four channel, bridge to the right side, and the rear bridge to the left. So those crossovers being dialed exactly the same is gonna make a big difference in the way this system sounds. If one of them's rolling off at 110 and the other one's rolling off at 250, it's not gonna sound as good as if they're both rolling off at 110. We'll probably do something like 90 though and see how these mids act. I don't need to look in this book because I already know that 80 hertz is going to be track 16 because I use it all the time. So I'm going to do track 16 on the bass and track 17 on the mids and highs. And I may need to adjust that too depending on how everything acts. So, all right bud, put it on track 16 because that's 80 hertz. That's what I'm looking for right now. Start turning the volume up. Keep going until I take the stop. Okay, we got a signal. Keep going. Okay, oh, that's hot. Turn that down. Up. Down one. Okay. All you need is for that thing to be green, but I like it to be right below the red, so I have plenty of juice coming through to test this with. All right, now I'm gonna hit the read button. And you can see that it's high because I have it turned all the way up from the DD1 setting. There it is. Not too low, not too, oh, 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 oh. There, oh, right there. This amp is set to 80 hertz, just like that. Let's do the other side, we'll set it to 90. Check 17, which is 90 hertz. Go ahead and start turning that up until I tell you to stop. We got a signal. Keep going. Okay, back it down a couple. Down, that's good right there. There you go. Gains are so sensitive on all of these amps. That's why you can't do this by ear. You need something to tell you when to stop. Just breathing on this dial is enough to make it change. Come on. 90 hertz. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So the fronts are calibrated, now the rear is calibrated. So what we have right now we got the gains matched, we got the crossovers matched. This thing is ready to play, it's ready to slap, and it should sound really good. If it's too much heat on the mids up front, I'll adjust the crossovers a little bit. I can adjust the gain a little bit as well. So, I don't think I'll need to, I'm pretty good at this. All right, this is the Maiden Sound Voyage with just the mids and highs after the gains and crossovers have been set. 
There's no subwoofers even in this car. This is just door speakers. So hopefully it sounds good. Get your headphones on. New album, some more shit. It's space when I broke this. Thrashing, I'm focused. Don't strap it, I go get No strap in my pro hit. Killing, I'm feeling like thousands of millions. Then sound of rhythm, you're killing. Speed up, you're watching shit. Yeah. And I Got a dope car of this rap shit. Cause I don't put up no wag shit. Them base heads was still around with my fine asses. Did a backflip. Still thrash with a dope chick. Upgraded from a bad Money over suckers, over money suckers, duckers. Where I'm from, we learn to get the work before they touch us. Sherbet and a diamond got me coughing like the tussis. Baseline a swipe, game time, I'm getting buckets. To do something about that rattling back here, bud. It's yep. getting it's hitting pretty hard, huh? Yep. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty bare bones back here. It's gotta be what's making all that noise.
we got this thing deadened up. We got some in here. I got some up here. I think it's gonna help a lot. But when you got a system of your own, these are the type of things that you gotta deal with along the way. So if he's riding around and one of the songs is rattling more than another, then he can come on in and we'll put some more in here or something. But I think that we're gonna be good for right now. Couple little pieces of damp rope. Put that right on the plate. Difference. Sounds like there's another little rattle down there somewhere. I think it's underneath this bumper. Something rattling down underneath that bumper, but that's what it's all about chasing rattles and everything else. But it sounds a million times better already. Second skin for the wheel. What a big difference. Uh, all right man this thing sounds a thousand times better the rattles are not all the way gone there's something happening down there i don't know what's going on at the very bottom but we'll figure that out later but for the most part it's way better and the system sounds just lovely let's take it for a little test ride he's on e we're gonna go get him a full tank too so while we're getting him that full tank we'll test a few songs I think this is a wrap. Six o'clock on a Sunday morning. Ooh. It's dark out here. Right, Jaybird's on his way over here to pick up his car. It's shit. It's almost 6:30 on a Sunday morning. He has to be to work all day today, all the way up to like 10 p.m. So there's no way I'm getting into him today unless he gets it right now. It doesn't work tomorrow, but that ain't gonna do because I'm getting ready to go to Vegas. So we're doing it right now. He's gonna pull up, 
He's gonna leave the car that he's in here. He's gonna take this thing to work. I put him a full tank in there. He should be good to go. He's driving all the way across town. So he's gonna show up. He's gonna get to check it out. And he gets to drive to work with some beat. It's gonna be badass. Can't wait for him to get here. Any minute, any minute. Fuck, this feels good. I think I'm just gonna camp out right here with my coffee cup. Oh shit, the bird just rolled up. Shit, good afternoon. Shit, man. I see good. What's uh, yeah. cracking, man? You ready? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Been ready. All right. It looks a lot better, huh? A lot different? Oh, man. A little bit different. Oh, it looks like night and day. <laughs> Pop the hood. Shit. I never even popped the hood before. You never popped the hood before? <laughs> All right. Wait till you see this. I know you've seen the pictures. showroom holy shit junior's detail got it all cleaned up yeah. got the excess power everywhere what's that there was cobwebs everywhere it was we got the excess power battery we got some zero gauge the whole it's thing sick. i'm sure you've seen the videos so clean all right jaybird about 25 years ago you loaned me that 140 bucks to buy base box pro yeah. so i could elevate my game okay. you were uh one of the first people, matter of fact, you were the first person to ever fucking pay me right when I built a box, man. Like, overpaid me. Yeah. So, that's key to me starting whatever I'm doing right now. So, I appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah, and uh, I know I tried to give you that 140 back a couple of times. You fucking <laughs> stuck it back in my ashtray. <laughs> so, you wanted that $140 system, oh, yeah. man. Heck yeah. I mean, hey. I appreciate it. Yep, man. so I ran you a pair of RCAs, and that's what you get for your 140. Yeah. And that don't include plugging them in. That just run, that, that's just ran. All right, man, I know that hood was in bad shape, and it's not 100% perfect. It looks a lot better. But goddammit, the rest of this car, look at this paint, man. Good, man. Hell yeah. Looks like new. Thanks to Junior. Yes, sir. Hop in, man. Let's go. Let's check this shit out. Well, first of all, you might want to jump in the back and uh, drop your seat down. The seat does go up. It, the seat still locks. You can lock it down. And then underneath, bam! What you know about that? So sick. Wait till you, yeah. Yeah, it's so clean. So you could probably even without turning it on, hit the light, but we'll we'll do that here in a second. So let, hop in, let's listen to it and. I got the AM radio. Sounds like it's already got beat, don't it? For the bass right here? Yeah, that's the bass. Bars all heavy. Mars in a Chevy. It's crazy how I'm hard, but I'm sharp like machetes. It's my art, but it's dead. Oh, something's wrong, man. I was ready. I'm gonna beat the beat, like the beat ain't playing. What the fuck? Man, I can never win, man. The beat ain't playing. Oh, wait a minute. We gotta put the whoopers in. Oh, yeah, <laughs> now, did you wanna see? Yeah. You wanna pop it in? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, man. The reason why you don't have any bass right now is because your whooper is right here. You got the two DC Audio 10s. See those right there? Yeah. The bottom feet? Those are magnetic terminals. Those are going to hold the box in. And those are going to conduct the uh, the juice so you can transfer it into the box. It's completely wireless. All we got to do is put it in the cradle and it's slapping. That's genius. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hand you the camera. You can film me getting it almost there so you can see how to do it and then I'll let you finish it up the rest of the way. So, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. You're going to love this. I mean, is this the world's first, like, wireless subwoofer box for our car? Set it right here on the edge. And I just kind of like... There you go. All right, so what I want you to do is give me that thing. You're, oh, you're gonna you're gonna put it in. 
and just slowly slide it in and then just push it into place, okay? Hold on a second. So get, it, get it on that platform first. And no, you, you know, you're already ready to go. Just slide it in. Just take your bottom thumb. Just push it from the bottom. Push it. Push it. Now you get it. Yeah, <laughs> we turn that. Base knob's only up a little bit right now. You know what I mean? So I don't. What I really don't want to do is cause sparks by making them touch super fast. But medium volume when you're doing that's fine. Oh, okay. You think about that, man. So you can pop that box out, put your golf gloves in. It's so loud, I can't even hear myself talking in here. Golf clubs, whatever the fuck you want, throw all that shit in there. And uh, to be honest, man, we can we can put some temporary shit in there and snap it right on those same magnets. I can do you a six and a half and drop it in that same cradle, and you can take off to the bay for the day and still have a little bit of beat and all the room you need. So it's kind of cool. So let's go inside and check out the difference. Oh, I'm gonna turn this shit down. You keep Your volume, you can take it all the way up to 38 out of 40 all right. uh, with no problem, but you're gonna have to be the judge. Some songs are recorded different than others, so yeah, yeah. once you get up near 35, 36, start paying attention to how the system's sounding. All right. Some's gonna take it no problem, and others are gonna be like, that's pretty close, you know, something's kinda weird. Yeah. So all right, it's all good. that's all you really have to remember. The gains are set for 38 though, so after 35, 36, just start listening. I don't know that you'll push it that hard or not, you might. Everybody does, they get a little bit of taste of that bass and all of a sudden yeah. their hand gets fucking right hand heavy, all knobs to the right. So, um, yeah, so we'll go ahead just for now, just put it straight up to like 35 and then um, leave the bass all the way down and then you can start easing into it. It is your first system in how many years? Uh, really, 20, I'm probably. Like, hey, you, I'm you always talk about, oh, I'm getting a system for my 140. <laughs> you finally got it, motherfucker. You did. Addicted to cash and the thrash with a bad habit. Bad bitch, bad slips, ain't the last vanish. These lanes drop when I pop, I blast him. I'm the sun, kill these niggas when they flash cameras. Swag cameras, keep them in pocket like bad dennis. Exposing all these wild snakes like Jack Cannon. Yeah, you rare, but you lame like a black panda. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit propaganda. good too huh it ain't just bass man like turn all turn the bass down all the way and just listen to it how it is man sounds hella good my ear is giving me an issue so i know it's <laughs> i'm gonna put in what i was putting in when i was first testing this out because i really want to hear i want you to hear the mid bass on these other songs because the mids and highs in this car shine pretty good for not being super high end sounds super good all right, let's put that uh, Morrison, that King Morrison disc back in. Money over so suckers, dark over money suckers, duckers. Where I'm from, we learn to get the work before they touch us. Sherbet in a diamond got me coughing like the tussis. Baseline yeah, swipe, game time, yeah. I'm getting buckets. Turn the bass knob up. Draw dragon with a dope dab, thrash swag. Kicks murder scene, toe tag. Had him hooked like fiends with a coke Looks something like a Lambo when I blow past. These stocked the streets with made me. Get up in the booth, attack the gang. Just let that take me. Always been me. You like it? Always try to trace me. No flex. She got bare flex. And pussy lames are perfect plex. And they wish it. But somehow I hex them. Go right and then left me, I'm not used to defeat. The crew is complete, especially with Pablo on the beat. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
I can. I hear something on the roof rattling. I mean, you can't hear me. Hey, turn down a little bit. Turn down about halfway or so. Then hop out here. I want to show you one more thing about your box. You don't have to turn down all the way. Turn up a little more. We need to hear some meat. <laughs> hey, you're gonna bump that shit all the way to work, ain't you? Oh, yeah. All right. So it's not just blue. It's got white. Um, I ordered a tilt switch, so when you drop the seat, it'll automatically turn white for you if you wanted to. But it's not here yet, so I want. I didn't want that to slow you down from getting your car today. There's a switch right there behind. Um, right behind your right hand inside the box. There you go. Yeah, there should be a switch in there somewhere. It's, not, it's like hanging loose. There you go. Good. Yeah. thing, man? Birdie bird. Looks way better in person even. Now pop that switch off real quick. Yeah. There you go. So you don't have you don't have to have it on all the time. Yeah. You can turn it on when you want to show somebody what the amps look like. Or leave it just like that when you're bumming some beats. I removed the rear speakers, they're garbage, they're falling apart. Your front ones, I don't know where they're at, they're on the shop somewhere. <laughs> I put some sound ending on the trunk lid. I put some sound ending on the rear deck where those used to be sitting and then I just left the holes open to let some more bass into the cabin when the seat's up. You should still be able to get good bass with the seats up. And uh, overall, man, there's not a lot for you to remember. I set your games with the superior SMD DD1 Plus distortion detector and a crossover calibrator. And um, there's, there's more tweaking that needs to be done if you really want to go and make it yeah, even sounds, better so and we'll do that man you come in you know what I mean we'll bullshit and we'll we'll play with the tuning just a little bit but it's a simple system and all you really got to do to remember is the deck goes up to 40 don't turn it up past 38 that's that's pretty much what we determine with the dd1 plus so you're just about ready to go man now you got to go to work it's hella early it's foggy out Never getting rid of this car, man. <laughs> if you do, we could take it out, put it in something else. But yeah, I know how you are with your Hondas, man. This thing ain't going nowhere. It's got a couple hundred thousand left in it. Oh yeah. Hey, man. Let me tell you something about the bird. It might look like an 04 Honda to you, but this guy, this he's all about his old schools. His Hondas, shit. Those things are war ponies. They're work machines. Yep. The old schools are a different story. So, hey, we're rolling on the down low, but we got some cool ass shit in here. All right, man. I think you're about out of here, man. Are you uh, ready to ride out? I know you're ready to drive, man. It's like it's like getting a it's like getting a bike on Christmas, and you're like, I gotta go outside and ride my bike. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me let me move some shit out of your way so you can actually uh, back out. Look at this, man. It's, we doing this early morning car delivery. Hey, man. I don't care. At this point, Sunday ain't no different than a Monday to me. I love it. Fuck out of here, man. You're gonna be early for work, man, but it's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. start her up and roll out, man. It's all you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, no worries, dude. All day, all day, man. Thanks for the fucking 140. Yeah. Ball. <laughs> Anytime. You need to borrow another 140? Shit. Hell no. Hell yeah, man. Enjoy your trip to work. Man. I know you will. I'm gonna do, do a little side roads. <laughs> Take the long way? <laughs> Bump that shit. Yeah, all right, bro, thank you. Turn your headlights on. Hey, uh, just want to make sure they still work. Woo you never know, man. Thanks, All right, man. man. Yep, yeah, hell yeah, birdie bird. Enjoy that shit.
Yeah, I hear a little bit of rattling. It ain't nearly as bad as it was. This, I think there's something behind that back bumper. And I know the headliner's flapping a little bit. We'll fix him up. We got time. So this was a total success. It was a lot of fun. Finally got him his $140 back. And uh, he's out of here. He's heading to work. How many cars have you seen do that little exit right out of here after our system's been put in? I love it. 10 years of doing that. Thanks for joining me. We got some more fun stuff coming up. And uh, I'm out. Later. This guy, man, he's gonna be slapping all day long, I guarantee it. All right, let's call him up and see how that first little ride was. So you made it okay? Yeah, I made it, but I, uh, I, I passed up my uh, street. I was supposed to turn on. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I, had to, I had to flip around. <laughs> I was bumping and forgot exactly where I worked at. <laughs> Dope, 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 man. I'm just recording this little phone call, but I'm getting ready to start editing, man. And before I start editing, I just had a call and see how that maiden voyage all by yourself, just you and your beat, was. I loved it. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, I'm thinking about all the other stuff I can do to my car now. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, man. All right, cool. I truly appreciate it, man. I'll uh, take care of that shit like it's my baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shit, man. Just all you got to do is just enjoy it, man. That's what it's there for, man. Yeah, cool, man. Hey, holler at me later, man. Uh, start going through your whole collection of music, man, and let me know how it all sounds because, you know what I mean? It's set up to bump, but it's also set up to sound pretty good, too, for what it is. It's, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. simple system, but it's done right. Yeah, I love it. Sick Thank as fuck. No worries, man. Have a good day, man. I'll holler at you a little bit later. Uh, re report back on your way home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, later. I love you. Yeah.